As a step to taking our function a little further, we're going to need to break it into two pieces. The first is what I call the UI function. It's the function that we want users or other administrators to actually interact with. The other is a worker function, the bit that actually does all the work. Here I've created a pipeline or filtering function that retrieves a bunch of different information from one or more computers. By piping strings into the function, I'm activating this process script block. One computer name at a time will be in dollar sign underscore. As a best practice, I like to immediately copy the value out of there and into a variable with a better name. And you can see where I'm using that variable throughout. I need to convert this into a worker function. So I'm just going to start by changing its name. And I'm going to eliminate the begin, process, and end script blocks. I only want this to work with one computer at a time. And so rather than pulling that dollar sign underscore, which is only valid inside of a process block that no longer exists, I'm just going to redefine this as a simple parameter. Because I don't want people to interact directly with this function, I can kind of simplify things down a little bit. I'm not going to worry about all this nice formatting, and I'm not going to worry about declaring a variable type for this. Now I'm going to recreate my get computer info function with its begin, process, and end script blocks. Now because I'm not using begin and end, I could leave them out, but I like them in there just for the structure. In here, all I need to do is call worker computer info and pass along dollar sign underscore as the computer name. I could put dash computer name, or I'd just allow that to be positional like I had it. At this point, line 23 will still work correctly. These will both be passed to this function. When it executes, the process script block will run once for each piped in object. Each time the process script block executes, a different piped in object, in this case computer names, will be placed into the dollar sign underscore placeholder. That will be sent off to the worker computer info function, which is actually doing all of the work and writing output to the pipeline. Breaking into two parts is going to enable us to more easily create something that looks, feels, and behaves more like a real PowerShell commandlet.